Good morning, my name is Deirdre and I work here at the Irish Seed Savers Seed Bank and Gardens. And today I'm going to show you how to save the seeds of your own tomatoes. So it's August time, so lots of tomatoes are lovely and ripe at the moment. So just go and choose a nice open pollinated tomato that you like and that you've grown and just give it a little squish. Just make sure that it is ripe um, so that the seeds are mature inside. All we have to do is just cut the tomato in half like so. And you can see, look at all these beautiful tomato seeds in here. And they're surrounded with this gelatinous matter. And that's to protect the seed and it's to inhibit germination. The tomato seed has its own built-in intelligence so that it knows when to germinate, when the environment and the conditions are correct. As you can see, all I'm doing is just with a spoon, just taking out the, the seeds and the jelly-like substance just like so and just try not to get the pulp in there because you'd have to take that out but just the seed and there's lots of lovely liquid in these ones this is a beautiful um, tomato called the green zebra blue d one that we've been breeding ourselves from an original one from tom wagner from the united states so this is a really tasty one and that's it that's all we have to do so we're going to leave that now for three days in a warm environment, so not over 21 degrees Celsius, so in the kitchen is usually fine. And then you'll see a nice white film will come on top of it, which looks like a mould, but it's not. It's actually a yeast, it's called cam yeast. And after the three days, what we'll do is we'll just skim that off and put the seeds into a kitchen sieve and just pour it with water over it and just take off anything that's left behind and just put them on a plate and allow them to dry off. Just spread it out nicely on the plate um, so that it can aerate and leave that in a cool dry place and then when the seeds are dry we'll leave them there for about three or four days and you can check them they'll stick to the plate but just give a rub with your finger and you can divide them out like that we don't put them on newspaper or any type of kitchen roll or anything like that and um, because they will stick and then you've got that on your seed um, which is not helpful once you have your seed dried on the plate three or four days just check them make sure they're nice and dry and then you can pop them in an envelope and put them into you know a biscuit tin or somewhere nice and cool and in a cool dry room where there isn't fluctuating temperatures there you are your seeds are saved and ready for next spring